Uh, yeah, so if I, I'll show you this this trick while I'm here. So you can, when you're in L1 square, edit shape, you can grab um, sides and like move them in and stuff. Um, you can move them really tiny like that and then it becomes a, a cross section. Uh, now when you drag, it makes a cross section. It like drags out the cross section. This is called extruding. Uh, which you do in like CAD packages and um, 3D art packages and whatnot. Uh, yeah, and I think so. I think smear shape and stamp shape don't make any difference while using uh, extruding. So I've got this sculpt, and I go into the crop tool. Um, now this is similar to a stamp shape in negative mode. So in negative mode, triangle is between negative and positive, by the way. Um, then you can add cuts to things. Uh, so that, uh, so if you think about it logically, what it's saying is um, everything inside this shape, inside that shape, um, should not be there anymore. So stamp it. And now it's not there anymore. Um, however, crop is kind of like that, but it is it's saying um, move up here. Everything inside that shape should be there, and nothing outside that shape should be there. So everything inside is there, nothing outside is there. So it's like doing a negative stamp on everything not in this box. So then I stamp it, and now it's everything else has disappeared. Um, but it's worth noting that all the edits are still there. So you can see I'm grabbing the that edit, and I can still move it around within that box, and I can move that box around also. Uh, if I just get rid of that, yeah, I can move that box around also. So it's just an edit like any other. Um, any other shape edit, it's just got different rules as to how it affects the overall sculpt. Let's show the last one. Okay, so if I use the cutout tool, this is like a negative stamp and a crop combined. So, um, so uh, it's I'll just do that and I'll show you. Okay, so the piece inside the um, box is, let's separate these out. So now we have two sculpts. Um, the piece inside that box became a negative stamp. So I added a negative stamp to one copy, then it made a new copy and added a cutout um, edit shape into that copy so that then they fit together perfectly and you do get you do tend to get like um uh oh like seams like that and maybe that's that's the exact effect you're going for um yeah so that's that's good for like making making a mouth or something so if i go like that and then go to the cutout tool Now I've got the head and the mouth. And you can like join that up and now he's talking to you.